when it's opening day at grouper season and your little brother calls and says, let's go spear one, you just drop whatever you're doing and you get your junk, let's go. Happy people! I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. And this is my much older brother. We call him Brito Mas Grande. His real name's Aubrey, and I've always called him Brito. Brito Mas Grande because he's nearly a decade older than me. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Let me catch you up to speed. We got up at 4 a.m. this morning. We went, got goggle eyes, ran all the way to the north. We were going to go grouper fishing because today, it's opening day of lob oh, not lobster season, grouper season. Well, none of that worked out. Let's just have a little fun montage. We're going to show you some of what we did today, and I'll be right back. I don't even know what to say right now. We do, in fact, have a fish. Come on, baby. Broke him off right there. <sighs> you definitely have him coming. Oh, yeah, he's coming. It's got to be a big grouper. Oh, my oh, God. My God. It's a fucking shark. It's a fucking shark! <laughs> Something knocked the fire out of him. I was getting ready to hook it to the outrigger and then something just hammered it. What you got? Just let go. I don't know what to say. We had a good time. We didn't even catch much. So I was on my way home. I was going to go to the boat ramp, head home, and just chill. Brito calls me and is like, yo, let's go diving. I look at Crocker. Crocker looks at me. I'm like, get the gun, baby. Look at that headlight. One great thing about these Simrad bottom machine and chart plotter is the detail, bro. We are able to see things that we never could see before. Go, bro. Go, go, go. Aubrey's down diving, and I dropped a live bait out the back and got nailed. I don't know what I got, but I got nailed. What is this? Oh, what is it? Is it gonna come up and jump? It's right on the surface. Oh my God. Nice king! Come here, buddy! There you go! What's up with that? So, hey, we're working on a good day. We got a dolphin, a king mackerel, and I just saw a flying fish. Aubrey just popped up way to the south of his flow, which means he must have been chasing something. But uh, hopefully he's okay. Up. Oh. And we 
was hunting around. I guess the buoy come undone. When I knew something wasn't right. I um I shot a mutton and put it on the float and sent it up. I didn't hear you guys pull up to it. And I was like, alright, that ain't good. We've been right next to your float though. I get it. My float came unhooked and left me. I'll drive past it and see if it'll come up. Is it still hung? I don't know. No. It just came off and I didn't realize it because I was hunting. Keep backing up. That's aggravating. Just keep doing exactly what you're doing. Give my razor. Where it's it? right, in, right where you. When you're driving, it's right here. I got it. In the top. I've been shaving with a dry razor since Fiji when I was a kid. My buddy Alfred would be like, Pate, just say shave your face, boy. <laughs> Who knows why I'm shaving right now? Leave it in the comments below. And I also want to know, what do you think I'm going to get on this dive? You're going to find out, but let me know. This is a for sure fishy spot. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, this one's for you. One more dive. We're here. Hey, do it. Jump in. <laughs> that was one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. Just dropped a goggle eye back while Aubrey's back down on the bottom. That kingfish was every bit of 20 feet out of the water. Whoa. Let's go 30, <laughs> 30 feet out of the water. That thing was like a like a missile. <laughs> that was awesome. Sun's going down. Aubrey's right over there. Crocker's right there. That was cool. I've seen them do that in the past, but never with the fish in their in his mouth. I saw it in his mouth sideways, and he just. That was cool. 
when a fish skies with your bait in his mouth like that, we call it dog boning. Your dog, the, the fish is dog boning your bait. It's crazy. I'm sitting here trying to enjoy the sunset, watch Aubrey and Crocker's catching a fish. It's like a perfect afternoon, y'all. We may have had some trouble this morning, but this afternoon's been on point. You got a nice fish, dude. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta bring it around. Okay. Aubrey's probably down there like, what the heck is, are they doing? Oh man, he's dumping. Oh, come on, come on, come on, big daddy. Oh, that's a nice, nice one. one, bro. Nice. I was just talking about how I wanted some fish dip. Come on. Oh. Oh. We gotta catch this fish, we gotta get to Albury. Okay. Gotta put some heat on this fish now. Got it! Oh, 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 oh. Dude! Yes, 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 now I gotta go get to Albury. Hang on, bro. Be looking for Albury. Get up here and look for Aubrey's float. Okay, get ready and put another bait out. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. What's that? That that is my biggest kingfish. Where's Aubrey's float at? Uh, right there. We didn't, oh, have, yeah, yeah, didn't have time to celebrate because if we lost Aubrey, that would uh, that'd, that'd be, be a serious buzz kill. That'd be bad. <laughs> what a nice fish. That is a oh, awesome fish. I was just talking about how I wanted to make some fish dip. I haven't had fish dip in a while. We got fish dip now. Okay, what do you get, Cletus? Hey, that was amazing. Two huge smoker kingfish came in. I clipped my gun up to the buoy float. I was like, I'm about to light these jokers up. Did you get one of them? Like this? <laughs> no way! That's awesome. I did not get a shot, but uh, beautiful, beautiful dive. So much life. Oh, gorgeous. <sighs> Beautiful dive. I just didn't see the right fish. What an amazing day. We're gonna ice these fish down. We're heading in. Let's roll! What you think about that? Beautiful day. Beautiful day. There's that fish and Mav's excited about it. We are gonna be smoking these kingfish, making an amazing fish dip. Let me show you how you do that. These king mackerel are very meaty fish. As long as you ice them properly, they stay firm and are really good. If you don't ice them properly, you're gonna have a problem on your hand. Let's 
crossover. Now. Look at that big fat slab of meat. King mackerel, they have a high oil content. That's what makes them really good for smoking. Well, good morning, happy people. Yesterday was one of those days that just was really, really, really long. Unfortunately, Sebastian wasn't there with us, but he's here now. And I think he was there in spirit yesterday. Were you there in spirit yesterday? Absolutely. He always. was there in I'm spirit. Always actually <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, yesterday we did clean all this. This is that kingfish. Sebastian, could I get you to hold the camera for Please. one second? We boiled down a bunch of salt and a bunch of brown sugar. You always want to add enough salt so that when you put a piece of fish in it, the fish floats. If that's if that happens, you know you've got enough salt. And I always go 50-50, right down the middle. Brown sugar and salt. That makes a good brine. Maverick, go! I don't want to dump brine on his head. Pour it right on there. And then you can start laying your fish just like that. Just like that. Now, let me show you the secret trick here. Although I love Everglades, I constantly try new stuff and I was at the hardware store of all things and I saw this it's called the dirty bird rub it's made for meat but it's got a very sweet flavor to it and the other day I smoked some fish with it and I said to myself holy smokes I got to do that on a video but you cannot forget this black pepper is great on your fish. Smoked fish with pepper is amazing. Look at this. <laughs> That'll make a monkey hug a hound dog. There we go. Now, I'm gonna go inside and start editing. This is gonna cook nice and low, around 200 degrees, until it's done. Nice, low and slow, baby. Look at that. I've been editing all day, and the fish is cooking. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Check it out, y'all. That's a plate of loving right there. Let's just take one of our pieces of fish, like that. Maverick loves the skin. Dogs love the skin of fish, and that fish is so full of meaty, fatty oils that the, it's just so good for the dogs. All this fish comes apart. Just like that, oh, it's nice, it's still moist. If you over smoke it, or if you smoke it too hot, it completely dries out, and that's not what you want. You want little bits of that, see this? That's the goodie. The outside is heavily seasoned, and it's got, a, got like a little tougher, more flavorful taste to it. We're gonna make an entire platter. I'm gonna show you how to take a kingfish and turn this into an absolute party favorite. Take you some Duke's mayonnaise, about like that. And we're gonna just start mixing it up. You don't want too much, just enough that it, you know, I don't know, gives it the right texture. Worcestershire, not too much, about that much. Then, sweet relish. Then, onion. Then, garlic. And you just start mixing it all up, baby. Mix it up. One of the most important things you can do while making your fish dip is taste it. Needs nothing. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Mm, it's perfect. 
Yeah. I love it. It's got that nice sweet flavor, got that lovely smoke wood. Whoo, it's good. Let's continue the process. Take yourself a bowl and a little pan and just lightly spray that. Then you come over here, make sure your hands are clean and we're going to pack this full, just like this. Perfect. I actually had no idea this was gonna fit that well, but then, perfect. Now, we're gonna start making a layer all the way around this joker, just like this. Tomatoes and cheese. Take yourself a little bit of olive oil, and we're just gonna drizzle it right here. Perfect. Fresh cracked pepper, salt. Balsamic reduction. Take your fresh basil. Put all your fresh basil right around the outside. Beautiful sprig of rosemary. And you have yourself something really, really good. A plate like this would be fantastic for any party. And I'm going to make a little dollop of happiness. There you go. Wow. That's really good. With the jalapeno on it, amazing. This is just a super fun, easy way to take your fish and make something amazing. Now, the miraculous thing is, after making that whole pot, we still have that much fish left over. So, we got a lot of work to do. I hope you enjoy this. Make the most out of every single day. But that's all I've got for today. Take care, God bless. Albury, thanks for the call. And we are good. <laughs> you went to him first. I was like, I thought he was going behind me. I was walking away just so he went to you. <laughs>